Cubase 8.5 introduces several enhancements to the MIDI editing feature set, with special attention paid to the drum editor. For starters, the drum editor now gives you the option to switch the event display to show and edit the individual lengths of the drum events. The Length Display On-Off button switches from the familiar diamond shape to the new Length Display mode. When you add new events, their length will default to the value shown here, like this. And you can adjust the start and end points of a drum event using the same familiar techniques found in the key editor. Another terrific enhancement in Cubase 8.5 is the new visibility agent for drum sounds. One of the frustrations with a large drum kit is the potential for a lot of wasted screen space. By filtering your drum sounds to show only those who have an associated part, like this, you get everything you need and nothing you don't right at your fingertips. As a reminder, this indicator turns orange, telling you that the sound list is filtered and that additional drum sounds may be hidden from view. You can turn off filtering by selecting Show All Drum Sounds. Doing this removes all the filters and displays the complete drum sound list in the editor. The option to Show Drum Sounds with Events only shows the drum sounds being used by an active MIDI part. And the option to Show Drum Sounds in Use by Instrument shows only the drum sounds that are available in the connected VST instrument. So for example, if we have a drum track using Groove Agent, then this option will filter the editor to only show drum sounds for pads which have samples on them. It's worth noting that this feature only works for VST3 plugins. Another terrific innovation is the option to reverse drum sound list. This gives you greater flexibility in how your drum editor is laid out. If you prefer to have the kick drum sounds up top instead of on the bottom, Cubase 8.5 lets you do it. The object selection tool itself has been souped up in version 8.5. You can now create and manipulate MIDI events simultaneously with just the object selection tool. You can create a note simply by double clicking, but if you hold that second click and drag to the right like this, you can adjust the length. And if you add the shift button, you can adjust the position. Likewise, holding the second click and moving vertically adjusts the velocity value, and adding the Alt button lets you adjust the pitch, all from one tool. You can see that if Snap is active, that value is automatically applied. But now you also have the ability to temporarily defeat the Snap function by pressing the Command or Control key while making your adjustments, like this. You can use this new functionality in virtually every MIDI editor, like the Edit in Place area. And the same shortcuts work with the Pencil tool, and they also work with the Drum Editor Stroke tool. And the Drum Editor now allows you to create multiple notes by double-clicking and dragging with Snap On and using these new modifiers for velocity or pitch will be applied to the newly created events. Upgrade to Cubase Pro 8.5 today for even more efficiency.